Good afternoon and evening everyone. It's Weather Force with another detailed severe weather forecast as we're tracking multiple days all the way through early next week with big time severe weather including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging wind gusts. So when we take a look at the latest European model which stands for medium range weather forecasting by the European Center, we can see there is a couple of showers and thunderstorms that do look to develop here over Oklahoma as well as portions of Kansas for Wednesday afternoon. By the time we go into tomorrow morning, so this is kind of the overnight hours, we're gonna start seeing more of these storms really develop, especially over Oklahoma City to the north along the I-35 corridor all the way into Kansas along to go where that dry line is gonna be in place. Now going forward into Thursday morning, so for your morning commute when you're waking up, taking your kids to school, just be aware there is your warm front. This is where we're gonna be seeing a lot of these elevated storms. Some of them could be surface based and a lot of these will be capable of producing some large hail and some damaging wind gusts. So keep that in mind. If you're doing anything in the morning hours, you're commuting, just be aware. It's going to be a stormy morning, lightning and thunder along to go with that severe weather. And this will continue all the way into Thursday afternoon. So even during your lunchtime, it is just not going to be a good time to walk the dog to uh, go for a walk in the park or to do anything outdoors because it's going to be muggy, it's going to be wet, it's going to be stormy where that warm front is going to be moving into. And then of course, we're going to start seeing development out here across western Texas where that dry line is going to be in place. So this is the look at Thursday afternoon, folks, and, and evening, and we can see there is where we have our low pressure center. This is where we have the strongest storms. Some of those storms, again, right along that warm front, and then it really gets going. By Friday late night, or by Thursday late night into early Friday morning, we're really going to start seeing this dry line and cold front surge eastward. And as that does so, we're going to be looking at some of the stronger thunderstorms. Again, any of these storms, especially right here, there's a little bit of a cell there. Got some intense cells. We might even have some intense convection on the backside. And some of those will be capable of producing some strong tornadoes, folks. Thursday night in a Friday morning is where we are really watching this area right in here from northern Texas, Oklahoma into Kansas, where we have the best chances for severe weather. Now going into Friday afternoon, there's your low pressure center at 987 millibars. So a nice good surface low. There's your dry line cold front. There's your warm front, well dynamic system. Then that system moves into the Northern Plains and the upper Midwest by Saturday morning. So even some areas like Illinois and Indiana might get a rumble or two of thunder. While back West, we get our next system coming down and it's gonna bring in some cooler air. So by Saturday night, this is when it gets interesting again. We have our next surface low that moves in. You can see it right here. It moves and that's going to help get these storms going yet again over, say, northern Texas, Oklahoma. Another resurgence of that moisture and confluence because of where that low is, the Lecigenous, we call it, or Lecide Cyclogenous Colorado Rocky Low, hence its name. And that continues all the way into Sunday morning where we have those storms that will continue. And you can really see that there, that nice intense line of heavy rainfall and that's because we have a uh, we have the high pressure off of the carolina coast that's going to help surge this moisture around it from the south where we have another high pressure that's going to help get some northwesterly flow and there is your convergence you can see it right there definitely well defined so now what is behind all of this what's going to be causing the severe weather over the next three to four days well you can blame it on the jet stream that's going to be ejecting into the high plains and the midwest so we talked about this a couple of days ago where we're going to have this trough in place right no indentations today but you can see it's negatively tilted we have a nice good wind max that's going to be over northern texas and oklahoma as well as kansas and look at that right there that's uh 90 to 100 knot wind speed max that's going to be ejecting so that's going to be what's going to cause our first initial threat of severe weather and then a second low so i know this doesn't look like it's moving very much but here comes this low that's where it is on this forecast for friday and then it gets all the way up here 
by Sunday. And so there's another one. That's the one out here across, um, say, Washington and Oregon. That's going to be ejecting again into the West so or into the Midwest. So there's going to be two low pressures. And this one uh, for Sunday looks the strongest. It's going to be more dynamic. And that's where we have the best chances for more significant severe weather, possibly a severe weather outbreak, folks. So consider that on your bucket list. We're going to have to really watch that. And you're going to really have to Keep an eye on my YouTube channel for latest updates. So how much moisture? Definitely plenty of it. Uh, dew points in the 60s and 70s. So definitely a humid weekend ahead. And here's the thunderstorm juice for 10 in the morning on Saturday. Lots of energy for these thunderstorms to use up all the way from Texas into Oklahoma. So that really begs the question here. What is it going to look like for Thursday? So we can see here for Kansas, for Oklahoma, if you're in Texas, this is where we have the best chances for severe weather, including large hail. We could see hailstones two to three inches in diameter. We could see 50 to 70 mile an hour wind gusts with some of these storms and the potential. We might even see a strong tornado and we can see here on the tornado risk from the Storm Prediction Center on Thursday, we're already looking at a 10 sig for strong tornadoes in western Oklahoma, northeastern Panhandle of Texas, and southwestern Kansas, with a 5 and 2% um, kind of outlining that whole area. Wind, not going to be a big deal, but still a slight risk for damaging winds, 65 to maybe 75 miles an hour, perhaps across the high plains here from southwestern Texas into western Kansas with a 30 sig for large hail. So again, big hailstones, two to three inches in diameter, certainly a likelihood. Now let's take a look at Friday's convective risk. Again, a slight risk with a 15 sig for severe weather. And this is a much more widespread slight risk, folks. This goes all the way literally from southernmost Minnesota all the way down into Dallas Fort Worth area. So this is going to cover a big area. We will likely see more categorical upgrades with this day on Friday. So it's a slight risk now. We'll possibly see an enhanced risk get issued in later outlooks. Now for Saturday's outlook, this is the day four outlook. They're already highlighting a 30% severe weather out, uh, out um, or event for northern Texas, Oklahoma, into Kansas. And this could be the biggest, okay? Like we showed you on the trough and on the whole precipitation forecast, really looking like a big day, the biggest day so far this season, potentially over the Oklahoma metro area. And then day five, just a slight risk all the way from Wisconsin, all the way southward into, say, Texas. So keep that in mind. Definitely, we have, let's see, let's see how many days we have. So we have one, two, three, four, four days ahead of severe weather. Okay, so that goes all the way through Sunday. You might even see something into Monday as well. I, that doesn't surprise me on the SPC. The risk for heavy rainfall and flooding too will also increase. This is today's outlook, a marginal risk for Oklahoma and Arkansas with a slight risk and a marginal risk for heavy rainfall on Thursday for these areas. So keep that in mind. I'm going to definitely be seeing some heavy rain and flooding. And then that continues all the way into Friday for your day three outlook. Definitely a huge area here under a risk for heavy rain and flood concerns. Because again, a lot of these storms are going to be forming in the same spot. And as they do so, we get training and training of storms will lead to some flood concerns in localized areas. As always, before I do in the video, folks, I do want to give you a few announcements. You can't miss these announcements at all because these are important. These really are. So as always, I've mentioned this for the last couple of months that my second Atlantic hurricane seasonal outlook will be released on May the 1st at 3 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. I did correct that last night and it will be 4 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. And of course, in Eastern Time, it will be 6 p.m. Then there will be another one on May 21st at 3 p.m. I've changed the date of that just a little bit for a later time just because of my school and everything that's going to get involved. And then, of course, my routine outlooks will begin on May the 25th, and that will run through May, uh, November the 1st. This includes rapid updates and live streams. And if I do make a morning video on the tropics, it's because we have a named storm that we're dealing with. And those morning videos 
will be released at 8 in the morning Pacific Daylight Time, 11 in the morning Eastern Daylight Time, followed by my afternoon videos at 3 p.m. So don't want to miss that. But also, if you just want to support my YouTube channel for the heck of it and you like the content, please subscribe to Weather Force. Okay, there's a red subscribe button below this video and below all my videos. You can subscribe. You could follow me on Rumble as well. There's many ways you could support me because I do upload great weather content. You could also follow, follow me and find me on Twitter at WeatherUnited1. There's a link in the description below this video leading to that. And lastly, if you want to join our awesome Weather Force Discord server, there is a link in the description below this video. You do not want to miss it, folks. We're already up to 25 members. That's great. So if you want to support the um, Discord, chat in there, say hi to me. How's your day going? Just let me know in the Discord server or in the comment section of the YouTube video, and I'll be happy to answer those. But otherwise, thank you all for tuning in to today's severe weather forecast. As always, have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I'll be back in the home weather office tomorrow with another update on the weather using my gray good old green screen. Love you guys.